So you're probably starting to chill out after doing all that crazy stuff from the last lesson. You've probably been working all week on trills, growling, pitch bends, and all that other stuff we were working on. Well now I think it's time to go back into the mainstream and show you a few things that are essential in all the music you're going to be playing from now on. It's the use of different articulations. So what is articulation? We talked a little bit about it before when we introduced tonguing. Articulation is how you tongue the notes, how you connect the notes, how you attack the notes, how you move from note to note, the flow or lack of flow that you use when you're going from note to note. Now there are four very common types of articulations that we're going to go over today. And I'd like to start off with the easiest articulation. It's called slurring or the slur. This is a very easy articulation. You probably already have done it. You're probably already doing it without even thinking about it. It's without using any tongue and just blowing the air through the notes from one note into the next without stopping your air and flowing. So now I'm going to do this on the five notes we already learned so you can hear how it sounds. I'll just use quarter notes and I'll slur going from C up to the G and back down to the C. One, two, Ready? Oh. <laughs> Now if you're playing really fast, it's easier to play slurring because you don't have to get the tongue involved. It's just very easy if I'm playing very fast. So that's just blowing and moving my fingers from one note into the next, always trying to connect those notes using my air. Now the next type of articulation that I'd like to talk about is called legato tonguing. Now this is close to slurring, but you are going to use the tongue. We want the tongue to be smooth and fluid, almost like a slur, but still we get a little more enunciation than if we just blow from one note to the next without using any tongue. Now, when I taught you tonguing, I told you to say the word two when you tongue. The tip of your tongue goes underneath the tip of the reed and you say two. Now in this case, if I want it to be smoother, I can say the word da or do. Either one of those works, da or do. Because D softens the tongue. It actually blunts your tongue a little bit and you get a slightly smoother legato tongue. And you want the note to be full and connected with just a slight articulation on the beginning of each note. <laughs> Now, the good thing about this kind of tonguing is I can play one note and still separate that note, but it sounds smooth. Like C, I'll use the note C. That's thinking da, 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 da. Now, if I try to do that slurring, it wouldn't work because one note would turn into just one long note if I slur. Now you can try to convince your band teacher you're playing the right rhythms and you're just slurring, but I don't think your band teacher will buy that. So don't slur on one note. The next kind of articulation that we'll talk about, very commonly used in all styles of music, staccato. Now staccato is a pointed articulation back to the T tongue, thinking two, but we're going to even make it short. Each note is going to be shorter and separated and light and short and broken. That's what we want to have. We want to have a light, short, broken sound. So let me do that with quarter notes. It's ta, ta, ta. <laughs> So I use my tongue 
to break the notes apart. I use a very light tongue, and at the end of the note, I put my tongue back up to clip the note off to make it short. That's staccato, light and short. Now, if I'm playing really fast, I might not clip the note at the end with my tongue as much, but I still try to use a light tongue with a pointed attack. The last style of articulation that we'll talk about today is called accents or accented articulation. This is when you give the note a big punch at the beginning. It's a punch in the, punch in the face of that note, but you let it decay a little bit. So you're going to use a strong attack with your tongue and your air is going to really pump that note out in the beginning, but then you'll let it kind of fade off at the end of the note. So for example, I'll play the same five notes. You hear how I give it a punch in the beginning and let it kind of die off? And it's actually written in the music as a little arrow that goes backwards, like a, like a uh, greater than sign. Okay, and it just means to play loud in the beginning and decay on the note. So those are the main types of articulations that you'll be dealing with and all your band music at school I'm sure will have lots of those articulations marked and you need to be able to play those properly to sound good playing the saxophone. Now before I leave you, I'd like to demonstrate a little bit of an excerpt, some improvisation using all the different types of articulations that I just described. 